Hello, we're back. I am Shruti with my second nature and with me, Dr. Rachna Patni, who is looking very cuddly and nice with like lots of sweater. What is going on? Where are you? Is Goa in Goa? Oh, no, no. So as you know, Shruti, today has been like a mammoth exercise getting online. I am in Shillong. It's super cold oh. and I've actually, you know, made myself run away from the bonfire in order to do this call oh, with you oh wow how lovely and yeah it's it's almost like uh, a lot of uh, effort comes together to make this yes. podcast take shape you know <laughs> with us in different locations so i'm just oh. glad that it's happening thank and, you so yeah, much yeah i am wearing all the layers i have <laughs> <laughs> how wonderful though the, the beauty of connecting the beauty of internet and the beauty of connecting over like you know different climates <laughs> how cute super so i won't yeah. take much of your time we'll get started quickly so that you can go back to that warm lovely bonfire of yours which you have left for us <laughs> so shuru karte hain so see this whole month of self love it has been such firstly such a wonderful journey with you because there are so many different aspects of self love that we have covered jo maine technically sochi bhi nahi कि अच्छा हाँ सेल्फ लव यहां यहां घुस के भी यू नो आ सकता है सामने सो नाउ विद यू ऑफ कोर्स we did many things we learned self acceptance we created a new routine for self love uh, right down to that lovely exercise which you had taught us which is about how to enjoy a date with yourself you know how to self reflect how to go about it and why we need it um last one which i really remember beautifully was how you said that you need to use kindness as a tool uh when you want to be you know if you find yourself being harsh to others or to yourself just be kind to others and naturally that will filter in so all of it felt absolutely superb in the moment but here is when things get tricky because us moment mein aapke aawaz sun ke aapke words sun ke and the way you tell us we get super enthusiastic and we are do din ke liye we super enthu maybe even for a week but when that moment passes the moment is gone then how to stick to it and how not to go back to our old patterns and our old ways how to do that that is a really important question and it goes to the heart of what it means to transform ourselves hmm. uh you know because when human beings like when we are changing it's like we don't want to give up being the caterpillar you know the butterfly is like there yeah but we we know the caterpillar only too well and we keep coming back to it Correct. um but also you know you may have heard of this in so many places um but people say like um personal change is like working at several layers of an onion so yeah. you you think you've changed it you know and then inside there's like a repetition of that same pattern at a deeper level Correct. so you literally have to like be prepared ki you know you'll be spiraling into yourself yeah a few times yeah. before you reach that core and you say okay i have dealt with it at my core Hmm. right hmm. so accept that as your process hmm. it's nothing wrong because this is a you know this is a long like all of these are long held um patterns in us and they are not just at the surface so there are layers and layers and layers and we are extremely sophisticated in holding on to these patterns yeah. so every time we spiral back we like okay i've hit this at a deeper level hmm. but then you know it's the same commitment right no but it's really so normalizing nice. that yeah how you said right now that every time you hit it instead of thinking oh my god i have like you know again i've done this it's lovely how you right now said that oh wow okay so i've gone deeper this time or i've hit that point where now i'm going to go deeper that's a very positive way of looking at it rather than thinking ke are i relapsed or like um, how i went back to my old pattern so that's nice okay i think um, you know when we are doing anything Uh, and especially when we are committing to uh, self improvement of different types yeah. um all of the time when we hit that lack of motivation or the incapacity to really look after ourselves or to really do what we need to do you know things we commit to for ourselves correct then when we become harsh like we we actually repeat all the harshness yeah. so one thing we can change is being kind to ourselves when we fail yeah at least that is one change right. you know right. which we can be consistent with like let's start with being consistent with one change right and yeah. then see what changes mm-hmm. with that 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, uh, you know, this makes me wonder actually that you've been in this line of work for so long. You have worked with so many clients. You have done so many corporate training sessions where you teach all varied kind of professionals and people with so many different, you know, like a plethora of emotions people must be going through. And you have been dealing with so many different individuals. So does it happen often that people go back to old patterns? And normally, in your experience, what have you noticed? What is that most common pattern that people fall back with and is it just like willpower um, related or is it something else so you know not just with everybody else but i i want to talk about myself as well yeah. that it is very uh, much a part of my own experience of changing things yeah. that i fall into you know the same patterns and it is not always there and then that I recognize that, hey, I've fallen again for the same thing. Right. You know, right. some things come out like I may have committed to some change or whatever. And then I do it unthinkingly, unreflectingly. And then a moment later, I'm like, oh, I let myself <laughs> slip, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Funnily enough, like this is where I feel that um, the love and acceptance from those that are around me hmm. is what helps me the most. Hmm. So one of the things that I do more consciously now is when I'm trying to, you know, work on something, I actually share it with my near and dear ones. Like I'll say to them that I'm trying to change this thing. I want, you know, this is what I end up doing and I do not want to do that anymore. And in fact, I also put the solution like I want to be like this when it happens. Mm. You know, I don't mm. want to be like that anymore. I want to do this instead. Yeah. And then I also say, uh, you know, maybe if I'm slipping in that mode again, like if you notice it, if you could like notice it for me aloud, you know. Right. Right. So I can also pause in the moment. Mm -hmm. And that is, I feel the most, like most substantial support that I have received in, in these things. So I actually have people who will tell me like, you're doing it again, you know, or why are you giving this, this much time or this much energy uh, when you have expressed clearly that you don't want to do it anymore or you know or you said that you would rather do this right so we must always go back to the fact that we do not exist independently hmm. and our whole idea of ourselves is formed in relationships hmm. and so those relationships are really critical yeah. in us making any changes to make sure that there are enough witnesses around who we share this with and discuss yes. it with. Yes, but these are not just witnesses because, you know, witnesses will often not um, add any of their own um, take on it. So yeah. these are more active participants uh, mm. than witnesses. So sometimes right. like when it's very vulnerable and when we are very fragile and vulnerable, then we just need witnesses mm. who will just see us experiencing or expressing something right but then when we are doing this spiraling into ourselves uh, or meeting all the layers of the onion that we are then we need you know people who will speak their truth to us who will right. say okay you're doing it again yeah you know yeah. and that they will say it like without hatred without anger so it's also like in making yourself uh, a bit more kind of sophisticated you are also working on your relationships becoming, um, you know, more mature. Correct. Uh, so people will then have that courage and scope yeah. to tell you what they truly feel. Yeah. yeah. And you will have the same. Okay, wonderful. So then, um, th then I want to go more on the failure aspect of it. Like, you know how we feel very disappointed when we land up falling into old patterns. And we were very excited to create like a new us, you know, chahe koi diet ho, chahe koi naya exercise regime ho, yoga shuru kiya hai, kuch bhi kiya hai, any new instrument you've started playing, whatever self change you are bringing. Um, and then suddenly when we go back to our old patterns, there is like this immense sense of disappointment that we feel. And then, like we self-critic, that we start talking 
negatively to self saying oh god you're good for nothing why are you doing this come on get up do this so the sense of motivation becomes like a negative self talk so even when we have fallen what is the attitude actually really may that helps us not get demotivated but rather get back on the horse and start riding again but you know without getting so demotivated that we are like are rehne do yaar it's too much work forget it we can't do it so that that doesn't happen mm. so you know uh, one of the things that i've realized in all this uh, work on changing uh, ourselves in a way that we honor our lives better yeah. is that uh, every time we uh, make a mistake or we fail um the harshness is what we have experienced also from the world when yeah. we haven't been able to do something right or whatever so that is what we have received and we are also doing to ourselves and we are also giving that to others you know right right so um what really helps is this whole attitude of being solution focused hmm so you know when we are in school and even when you're especially when you're doing your masters degrees let's say one of the key things that people want to see in in assessing your work is whether you have critical capabilities right so critical thinking mm-hmm. is often understood by us as being able to criticize and judge others as lacking something or the other okay right. so in our schooling and in our development we begin to think that being critical is actually very sophisticated you know hum सब में खामियां और खुद में खामियां ढूंढेंगे तो हमें मास्टर्स डिग्री मिल सकती है इट इज अई लेवल गोल यू नो वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग लाइक दैट एंड एंड वी आर रिवॉर्डेड फॉर इट वी आर रिवॉर्डेड फॉर नोटिसिंग ऑल द लुक होल्स वी आर यू नो इट्स कॉल्ड स्ट्रेटेजिक थिंकिंग वी आर रिवॉर्डेड फॉर इट इन सो मेनी वेज सो देन वेन यू रीच अ लाइक अ फिल ऑफ दैट की बिन दैट डन दैट यू नो इट डजेंट रियली चेंज एनीथिंग फॉर द बेटर Yeah. then you come across other ways of thinking and one of uh, you know very it's a very old and established theory that you need to be solution focused hmm. rather than being critical and judgmental hmm. and solution focused approaches are very powerful because in them there is the interweaving of hope yeah there's always like a commitment to hope and a willingness to to think how to solve something yeah. how to reach a place where things are better Correct. you know yeah. and that that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with being critical hmm. Hmm. this is what we forget yeah in fact being solution focused has so much more to do with acceptance so it's this dance that we do you know be, between being critical and accepting and recognizing that you can accept as a place that's beyond criticism yeah. it doesn't mean that the one you are accepting is perfect hmm. but it also shows that you know that you are not perfect either yeah. there are a lot of jokes made especially by women in relationships or about women in relationships you know that oh, you know like they never forget what you've done wrong oh, like nagging, 20 years ago right? wife and all that as soon yeah. yeah as soon as you do something then you know they'll yeah. dig up things from the past and they'll make a whole catalog and uh and it's because like there's this whole holding on to old hurts right. and and then we feel like oh if we unleash the whole list <laughs> the whole inventory then we are making a strong case <laughs> but in fact what we are doing is like yeah we are just you know we are just like reaching a place where well ears begin to have walls you know mm. so you also need to realize like where are the limitations of different approaches right um and you know what what would the filter of love mm. allow you to do so i think that's what you know so when you when i keep talking about the filter of love it is only possible when uh you kind of fall in love with yourself and with the world and you know you even when you are like in your old patterns you you still feel like hey but actually i love everybody and i love myself and you know how 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 may i operate from this place hmm. um so i it's like 
my wish is for all of us to fall in love with ourselves and everybody else <laughs> Then and no, then that's see that's a strong uh, wish know? that's a that's a, and a wonderful one at that yeah. because it's a tough one to achieve but imagine if everyone was in love with themselves and therefore in love with the with each other then the whole world would be like such a wonderful place to live in yes it would be and yeah. and i wish i wish <laughs> for that so great so in this month of self love i think it's a better message bilkul nahi ho sakta tha so it's a great way to end this month of self love which has been a wonderful journey talking to you i've learned so much and i know that via the messages that i keep receiving on youtube here from the podcast as well a lot of people who keep messaging saying that there's so much that they are gaining out of this so thank you so much for that so jaate yeah. jaate what are those parting words that you would like to uh, you know give us in terms of self love and in terms of all the discussions that we've had so well what's coming to my mind right now shruti is that i think one of the things we did in this talk is made sure that nothing was scripted you know and even this bit about like my wish is that for all of us to fall in love is something that has just come up authentically in this moment of interaction yes yeah. and i feel that that is what um i i want to put forward you know and and so much goes on behind the scenes in putting together this short talk it's as if you know everything that can go wrong goes wrong <laughs> and then suddenly it all comes together again yeah, yeah. so it gives an indication of how you know something that feels perfect in the moment hmm. has so much messiness that we have to hold with love yeah with patience yeah. and then we get to a place of fruition mm. you know and it's that which i feel that this podcasting on self love for this whole month it has given me so many opportunities for that for not being self critical ki i didn't think of this or why is the network correct or why is in this lighting correct or why am i not dressed appropriately <laughs> why is the light on my you know why am i not wearing foundation i mean there are so many things yeah, right yeah. and and just flowing with it yeah. and interacting and being here being present being authentic and that's what i would wish for every listener that that you know they experiment with this it's mm-hmm. fun and it's real absolutely wow what a message but just to give you a heads up i'm not going to let go of you that easy once in a while mahine mein ek bar to i will keep like you know pulling you back and saying okay i have another thing i want to discuss with you so please keep all your internet connections <laughs> and your patience levels for that as well but for today of course thank you so much for this entire month it i know it's it's been super difficult but thank you for taking out that extra precious time and having this chat with us Thank you Shruti take care Thank you bye 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 <laughs>